Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be once again talking about response surface design. So previously, I showed how to create a response surface design or a subset of response surface design, which is the central composite design, uh, using the classical uh, design uh, option under the DOE. This time, we'll be using the custom designer uh, to create a central composite design. So open the custom design uh, menu under the DOE. And uh, then uh, here you add the response variable. Once again, I'll be adding uh, thickness as my variable. And the goal here is to match target, uh, which is between 48 and 53 nanometers. And I have uh, three factors uh, which are continuous. So here I add them. So here I add the values for each of the factors. Speed is between 2000 and 4000. And then Concentration is uh, between uh, 1 and 3 weight percent, and uh, then I have a uh, big temperature uh, which is between uh, 65 and uh, 95. And then, once you uh, click continue under the model option, uh, you can see that the, the intercept as well as the three main effects have been included. But now, if you want to create a central composite design, you click on the RSM. So once you click on the RSM, uh, you can see that uh, uh, the uh, quadratic terms for three of these variables have been added. Other than that, uh, also two-way interactions for some of these variables have been added. So uh, once you do that, uh, you can see here also in the number of runs that uh, by default you need a minimum of 16 runs. Uh, so this is very similar to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, classical design that we created so once you do that you can click make design so it's going to take about 10 seconds to make the design and then here uh, on the end uh, you can say make table so here you can see that uh, the central composite design has been created of course there is no pattern column here but uh, this is exactly the same as the one that we created uh, using the the classical menu, uh, the response surface design. Uh, but yeah, sometimes the custom design can be actually be useful, uh, especially when you have some unknown constraints, which you can actually input uh, in the uh, DOE uh, when you are making the design itself. Uh, so yes, uh, so if you look at this des uh, define uh, factor, uh, constraints you can actually add them before creating the design so there's actually one useful thing that you can do when you are using the custom designer which can actually be sometimes more useful 